Uh, good day, YouTubers. I would like to share some uh, information with you guys. Um, this is the uh, SCR controllers I've built, different ones, with different gauges and different setups. Um, I'll start off with the one on the right hand side, which is a, a power re regulation 10,000 watt one. At the moment, I've got it plugged in. Uh, got no light source on it at the moment. Uh, this is a, a digital fuel gauge or voltage gauge. It shows you the, the wattage, amperage, the time it's running, as well as temperature, room temperature. Or unless you want to put a probe under the heatsink to tell you how hot the SCR uh, controller is getting. Uh, this is another one I've built, which is the same module as this one. It's just called a solid state. It's a SSVR relay. This one is 100 amps, and as you can see, uh, it's got a 2 watt input, 50 kilohertz um, variable resistor. The load it can take is 220 volt AC and 100 amps uh, this is the, the same one i've built and as you can see the neutral wire just runs straight through which is this blue wire here this is the 560k variable resistor which goes two wires goes to the one side um, and then your positive wire or your live wire uh, comes in on the one side uh, from your input and goes to the other side to your output and that regulates the voltage that goes to your element or to your light source uh, or you can use it on your angle grind if you like so this one is um, as you can see it's it's a 40 volt amp one uh, 25 to 480 volt AC load it can handle and 40 amps and it works with a 560k 2 watt variable resistor and on the front end it just looks like this so that's how that looks also you can buy these this is a 5000 watt one. You can buy them on AliExpress or on eBay. So this one will handle up to about 10,000 watt. This one here that I've bought, I've had it many years. It handles about 5000 watt. These power regulation modules they can handle about 10,000 watt as well same as this one here it will handle about 10,000 watt comes with a nice remote control as you can see it's got a power button there you can up uh, your uh, voltage over there or down your voltage or you can set it straight to 25% or 100% or 75 or 50% now this is the gauges I use and it's uh, a KWS AC 300 volts 100 amps and what's inside the box I'll show you that's the actual gauge and that's the diagram on the gauge and this goes over the live wire that gets coupled to the gauge so your live wire just just one wire runs through it or it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative then it's got a temperature relay that plugs in onto the gauge as well there's a temperature probe there there's a little black thing that's the temperature probe and that will give you the reading 
So on this SCR controllers, this is basically the module, the main power regulate, regulating module where your power comes in and your power goes out. And this is the module itself on the outside that controls the module up and down temperature or voltage and on and off. So that allows the voltage or the amps to go up and down as well as the watts. Uh, then I've got these um, the AC 250 volt input, 90 to 250 volt input, a 12 volt output DC. So it's AC volts in and DC volts out, 12 volts, 10 watts. Just that's just to run a little fan on the inside. So you can run a fan to cool off this uh, uh, the controller. This is another one here, which is a uh, only a 2 amp one just to run a little fan it's also got a 12 volt output and an input of 240 volt AC so on the one side you got your input and on the other side you got your 12 volt output that you can use inside these boxes so on these boxes um, that's already been built I can show you how they work and uh, how I use them so yeah, I've got a, a test lamp just to to test to see how many watts it's putting out and, and, and voltage. So I'm just going to get the plug and plug it in for you. So I'll plug it in first. So at a moment I've got it turned off as you can see. I'm going to turn the power back on. So at a moment you can see the voltage is 246.3 volts and that's the SCR controller that I've built so you can see this is the wire that runs to it so now I'm going to show you when I turn the knob that's about halfway and as you can see the light is dimming as well So that's full voltage, it's going to it now, that's about half the voltage, and that reduces the voltage even more, so you can run your urn or your kettle, uh, or any light or element, and you can lower run it with that and I'm will turn the power back up full full way now so that's full way all the way turned up um, I'll go into functions so that draws 0.5 amps the light is 128 watt that the light draws So just bear with me, I just got one hand, two hands, and that's about half, halfway set on the variable uh, resistor, and that's full power going to the light. That's the current draw, how many watts the light is drawing currently. And I'll put it on watts. That's the voltage, full voltage, amperage, that's full amperage, Go about halfway down, it's drawing 0.43 amps, if we go all the way down, you'll see the what the amp meter is draw, dropping all the way down, the light is almost off, now the light is about halfway on, So 0.43 and 
and let me just turn this thing on. So that's 78 watts it's drawing at a moment, halfway. And if I go all the way up, it's going to go up all the way, 128.7 watts. That's the globe that's drawing at current. So now I'm going to unplug it. And I'll unplug it. And I'll plug it into one of these other controllers that I've built. So I've got a light plugged into it at a moment. So I'm just turning this one on now. So just press the power button on. Alright, so here I've got it turned on with the remote. Currently it's set at 100, 100%. You can see the light is nice and bright. So at the moment it's reading 243 volts, 0.51 amps, 124 watts, and power factor is 1.0 and 50 hertz. And if I go on this remote, I can turn it now down to 25%. We'll go 75% first. So at 75%, that's how the light looks at 75%. 